Childish Gambino tickets available all day on KSFM. Win them before you can buy them. Three to seven, dealer with KC. Now, back to the insiders with James Ham and Kyle Madsen. Brought to you by Jiffy Lube on ESPN 1320. It's a true story. I'm sure it is. I would. I got to talk to our people about that because I would like to go. Yeah, mm. Chase Center, man. Childish Gambino. I can't wait. I'm really excited for it. I haven't listened to his new, the the completed album of the one he released during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. It was just the weird instrumentals mm-hmm. and noises. And now mm-hmm. he put vocals on them. Yeah. Um, I haven't listened to that yet, but I'm excited to. Yeah, he's a unique. <laughs> he's a unique individual. That's one way to put it. Yeah, he's he's very unique, very, incredibly talented though. Yeah. Incredibly talented. Yeah. Did you watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Yes. I I, I, I really don't. Good. I don't. Yeah, and I feel like I'm missing out on that. Really good. Uh, it turns out season two, spoiler alert, I guess, kind of, uh, is not going to have the same actors in it. Oh. Yeah. Like Donald Glover's not in it. Correct. Oh, and wow. neither is uh, er- Erskine. Erskine. I'm not. Mar- yeah, my, I, I I just saw the thing for the renewal. Didn't realize that Donald Glover wasn't a part of it. I could see that making sense though, because there are others like in the series. They're, they're not the only Mr. Maya Erskine. Mrs. Smith. Sorry. Yeah, they're not the only Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Right. Oh, okay. It's like a 007 type of type of deal. They're introduced to another Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Right. Okay. Got it. It's a great show. Really, really good. Emotional, yeah, I enjoyed. Like, weirdly emotional, but also like okay. action packed. Very good. All right. Sold me. What do you recommend? I'm not a big TV. I don't. I don't have anything. I'm not a big TV watcher. Mm. Um, watching... Unless it's part of the Power Universe, and there's none of, <laughs> nothing is on. Sure. I, I don't have any. I don't have any recommendations. Veil has been really good on on Hulu so far. Mm. It's it's been good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm digging it. I've been. It's complex. I, we just we just favorited that one to put on our list. Yeah. We watched a show called Baby Reindeer. Mm. Totally insane. It's incredible, te- like incredible television. Yeah, but I don't think I'd recommend it. So it's called Baby Reindeer. Yeah. Could you give me the premise? It's about it's about a uh, man who is being stalked by a woman, and it is a true story. It's not what I would have gathered by the title. It's what she calls him. Okay. Mm. I thought it'd be like a Rudolph story. But... No, well, that's what that's what when you see it. And you see it on Netflix, it's like, oh, this looks like a goofy, silly movie. And then you read the synopsis, it's like, oh. Okay. And then you get into the show and it's like, oh. So it's it a, is a tough watch. It's a movie? No, or it's a it's limited a series. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got you. Got you. Yeah. All and right. it's about it was a it's a it's a true story about this uh comedian who went through this in his life. It's bonkers. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Sounds interesting. I feel like I miss out. Like all of these series, people really get excited for. I've never seen any of them. Like what was the what was the the game show one? The Japanese game show one. Everybody went nuts for. Oh, Squid Game, Korean. Yeah, never Korean. Never saw it. Hmm. Never. It was. It it's not everybody's bag for sure. Yeah. And and when you start having subtitles, you lose me because that means I have to stare at the screen the entire show. That's really tough for me. That's good for me because I will scroll my phone and watch a whole episode and be like, yeah, I'm going to have to revisit that. that. Yeah. I'm going to have to yeah. revisit that. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough, why I'll watch like important games on mute. Yes. Because it's like I can't turn away from it when the when the screen is when the when the sound is off. So yes. There's mm. a, 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 a like a really important game. I know we need to be like dialed into. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just cut the sound off. Interesting. I got my new vinyl set up. So I throw on some music and I mute the game and I sit there on my couch and watch it and listen to music. There you go. It's a great time. It's a great way to. It's good vibes. Yeah. It's a great way to take it again. Vinyl, vinyl, vinyl's the way to go. It really is, man. Vinyl's the way to go for vibes. I had this set up upstairs in the, in the, in the old house and I found myself never listening to the records because Mm -hmm. I don't want to run upstairs every 15 minutes to turn the record over. Mm. So the setup now is downstairs. Smart. Yeah. It will be utilized much more. Can't wait. Sweet. We'll be in there. It's James's birthday. It is. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, no, we already. Yeah, we already. Uh, I'm a win. You will not be slept on no more, brother. Mm-mm. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I like, um, the, I like that you have buttons over there. Dude, it's my favorite thing. I'm a dog. Yeah, it's good stuff. An abomination. Um, w- 
were you surprised at how the Knicks came out last night? Yeah, uh, a little bit. Um, I thought the out of gas narrative was a little bit overblown, but at the same time, I I didn't think there was a Sacramento Kings situation for them where they drop three in a row, win one on the road, and then come back for game seven. To me, if they're going to win this series, they had to win last night. Yeah. Like they had to show some type of life, especially with what happened on Sunday. Like that was just, that was just bad. Mm -hmm. So to come out and play the way that they did, there's two things in that game. Like Knicks came out, they look fantastic, but it's also the reason it's tough to fully buy into Indiana. Like they turned the ball over, they couldn't hit shot. Like uh, it, they they are very much like a feast or famine team. Like they scored what like ninety points yesterday, ninety something. Like that's not. They're they have the youth. It, it, well, yeah. So yeah. it's kind of it's kind of the Kings conversation, in, in to a certain degree, you've got to find different ways to win games. Mm -hmm. And you go back and you look at games one and game two, and like they were in those games. But those were like 120 points per. Like yes. those were those were, mm -hmm. yo, Pacers will take that chance. If you're scoring in the 90s, there's almost no chance the Pacers are winning that game. Nope. And like last night's game was a hundred percent about the Knicks. But I also turned away from that game before the Denver one started thinking that, that like I, I think I believe in them a little bit more than KC does, but it that's that last night is why it's really tough to buy them moving forward. They have a lot of things that they have to correct. I don't think that this is their year no matter what, yeah. but I do think they have some growth in them. And You're talking about Indiana. Indiana, yeah, yeah, yeah. Indiana. Oh, Tyrese yeah. is embarrassing last night. Tyrese has had... Tyrese has just been frustratingly inconsistent. Yeah. You know, he'll have those games... You know, he had he's had two games where he scored like 23 or 24 in the first half. Yeah. One, he ended with 33, and it couldn't have been, you know, more inconsequential. That was game two. Mm -hmm. The other one, I think he ended with 34, and they won. So it felt a little bit different, yeah. but it's like, come on, Ty. Yeah, it's it, it was the, we were talking about this last night via text, but it was the, like, hiding from the basketball. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, gets, the, gets to the key, kicks it out, and then gets to the top and hangs out by half court. Like, what are you? Was it the, who did, who did they just play? In Bucks, the last the Bucks, round, the Bucks. So the the Bucks was the one that had that. Oh yeah, it was the cr crazy Chris Middleton overtime game. Ty mm -hmm. winds up hitting the the game winning mm -hmm. what amounted to be the game winning yeah. shot. We were watching that game here. That was like a two thirty start. We're, so we're watching the right. end. I was like, it, okay, well I know one thing. Ty isn't taking the shot. Yeah. There's no way Tyrese <laughs> is taking the shot. Yeah. And salute. Not only did he take the shot, he he went to the basket, mm -hmm. went up with intention. And got fouled, made the basket and got yeah. fouled. So credit to him. He's capable of doing it, but man, he'll shy away from it. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, James, happy birthday to you. We'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. D'Lo and KC. It's coming up next. I'm sure plenty of NBA playoff stuff. Uh, WNBA started last night. I'm sure there'll be yeah. some stuff on that. What else? Lots of, lots of overreactions so, to what happened in the WNBA. Last can't night. wait. Uh, D'Lo and KC coming up next on ESPN 1320 Sacramento Sports Theater. Bye.